whose son had enough time here. So Blanche oh. didn't. We stand here today to ask that Governor Jerry Brown reverse the parole of Jeffrey Allen Maria, a convicted murderer who put upon his victims a most vicious and torturous killing in 1979. Jeffrey Allen Maria preyed upon a family who out of the goodness of their heart wanted to help them because they believed that the four individuals had run out of gas. They were simply being good Samaritans. Jeffrey Allen Maria, what was most despicable about him was the fact that he tortured his victims. He tortured them within earshot of each other over an extended period of time so that they could hear one another's cries, beating them with a baseball bat, beating them with an ax, and eventually stabbing both of them to death. There, there is nothing worse than the cold-blooded acts of this individual. You can teach someone to behave in a confined society, but someone like this cannot be trusted out amongst us. This man has no soul. If he had a soul, he would not have been able to commit the vicious acts that he did and watch his victims suffer for the length of time that they did. This man has no place in our society whatsoever. At this point, I want to turn the program over. With us, we have Sandy Ranzo Howell, sister of Phil Ranzo, Beth DeJong, Deputy District Attorney, Birgit Flatiger, District Attorney, Stanislaw County. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Sandy Ranzo Howell, and I'm outraged. My family is outraged. Our friends and neighbors are outraged. And so are the, the senator, the district attorney, and the deputy district attorney, and, and all the law enforcement. No one noticed that SB 260 became a law and now is letting out violent criminals out of jail to walk the streets of innocent victims. SB 260 is letting out murderers and rapists. Philip and Kathy were, Kathy was raped and murdered at the hands of four criminals. Philip and Kathy were being good Samaritans, just like Kathleen said, and they were, they were murdered at the hands of four criminals. It was premeditated, calculated slaughter of two innocent people who never got a second chance. These murderers made an orphan out of their 10-year-old son. Mark, who is back here, that's a picture of Philip and Kathy with Mark when he was eight years old, and my brother had just graduated from UOP with his doctorate degree in pharmacology, and Kathy had a beauty shop. This is how old he is now. This is my grandson, Mark. This is how old Mark was when he lost his mom and dad. He should never have to live the rest of his life with this sorrow and this grief and no support. This is not about revenge. This is not about forgiveness. This is about justice. When you lose a loved one, your heart breaks forever. There is no such thing as closure. They slaughtered, mutilated, and destroyed Philip and Kathy's lives forever. These violent criminals lied to the parole board, and we need your help to keep them in prison to serve their time. We are here to let Governor Brown know that an injustice has been done. If he wants to reduce a prison population of non-violent criminals, that is fine, not the violent murderers and rapists. Please help us right this terrible wrong. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Deputy District Attorney Beth DeYoung with Stanislaw County. I've been with the family of the Ranzos for at least the last eight parole hearings. This family has stood and faced the, por the parole board 20 times pleading to not release the four crime partners involved in this case. Mr. Spears was the kingpin in this case. He brutally raped Mrs. Ranzo and brutally used a hatchet to kill Mr. and Mrs. Ranzo. There is no place in society for him our community will not be safe if he's released, as well as Mr. Maria. Senate Bill 260 is applied in this case because both of these offenders 
committed the offense before they were 18. This is not diminished capacity. This is not a lack of brain development. This is a despicable, premeditated, premeditated sadistic murder that occurred. In the past, at parole hearings, we have been able to say and argue to the court that based on the heinous nature of the crime, these inmates should not be released. This is no longer the standard. This does not matter to the parole board anymore. It should matter to you. It matters to us. Someone could go to their parole hearing and speak for the first time at a hearing and say, I have found insight. I am sorry. And they can get a parole date. This law should be changed. Stanislaw County, Modesto, California, needs to be protected from these two evil human beings. We are pleading with you, Governor Brown, please overturn these decisions. My name is Birgit Vladiger. I'm the District Attorney of Stanislaus County, and I'm proud to, proud to be here with my Deputy District Attorney, who's been working so hard with his family to keep these killers in prison. There's great pressure on the prison system, and we understand that, that nonviolent offenders shouldn't spend a whole lot of time behind bars, that they should have rehabilitation. But the truth of the matter is you cannot fix evil, and these are evil people. They should never come out of prison. The family members, the friends of the Ranzos have lived with this for decades. They still live in prison of a fashion, and it is much worse than what Spears and Maria are living in. So we ask you, Governor, and we ask the citizens of this state, call the governor's office, pick up the phone, write a letter, and demand that this grant of parole for these two killers be reversed. Hi, my name is Patricia Giles Moore Shoot. Um, Kathy was my sister, my only sister. Um, I just wanted to say that, you know, these people, if you want to call them people, are in prison and they're not living the life sentence. We, the family, are living the life sentence. We have lost our loved ones forever and there is no precedent for these murderers particularly Marty Don Spears, to be uh, released onto society. It's not safe if he's on the streets. We just ask that Governor Brown please, please overturn this parole decision. I'm totally outraged that it even happened. It shouldn't have even happened. Thank you. This concludes our press conference today, and I thank the family for coming forward. As was said and shared, this is the 20th time that this family has had to try to fight to keep Marty, Don Spears, Jeffrey Allen Maria, and the others involved in the crime in prison where they should be. This is about justice. This is also about making sure that we have safe communities if any of these individuals are released back into our community the state would be sanctioning the release of someone who guaranteed will commit another murder and guaranteed will put many other families in pain as they already have. This, this is not justice. There is no place for this. I respectfully ask, please overturn the decision of the parole board. Thank you.